I I just did not sign up for that. I don't think anyone signed up for that. Obviously, no one signed up for this. But yeah. I'm like, I need to go back. Yeah, it sounds like commitment issues. And What's up, everyone? Welcome to the When When Wednesday, where we upload an episode every week. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the podcast. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Tommy Wen, And I'm Sophie Wen. And we moved out here to Silicon Valley right after we graduated from college. And prior to moving out here, we didn't know anyone. We didn't have family out here. Fast forward to today, we started a business together and we found community that we love. And that's why we created It's a Win-Win Podcast, because we know what it feels like to not have community. And a lot of us are feeling the weight of that because of the times that we're living in. And so it was something that we wanted to do. We wanted to create this podcast for you guys to feel connected in some way. And we share our lives and our stories with you. And you guys share your lives and our stories with us. And so far, it's been super awesome getting to know you guys better, hearing your stories. So thank you guys for connecting after watching or listening to the podcast. Oh, yeah. And so before we begin our topic of the day, I just want to see how you guys are doing. Please comment below if you're watching on YouTube how you guys are doing. And we like to do this thing where we share what we're drinking because when you're filming a podcast or recording a podcast, you talk a lot. And so yep. staying hydrated is hydrated is important. And so today yeah. I'm drinking ginger ale in my cup. Yep. And I have some nice, cool, crisp water. Yeah, so pretty simple today, you guys. Um, let us know. What are you guys drinking as if you're watching this podcast? Yeah, and before we get started, I just want to ask you one quick question. Are you a taco person or are you a pizza person? Tacos or pizza? Let us know down in the comments your favorite tacos or your favorite pizza. And let us know where you get your favorite taco or your favorite pizza. We would love to know. Because we need some ideas because yes. we miss eating at restaurants indoors. The last time we ate at an indoor restaurant was exactly a year ago. Yeah, it's been a long time. I think last March, almost exactly a year ago, mm -hmm. before everything, everything shut down here in California. And as of recent, I think today or some earlier this week, yes. California has moved to red tier. So for our friends and family out of state, what that means is we moved to a less restrictive um, phase of opening. Exactly. And so more businesses can open and they can increase their capacity. And when we say open, we mean open indoors. Mm -hmm. Here in Santa Clara County, we've been at the strictest restriction, like the, the most restricted county, I think, in the U.S. where a lot of businesses in terms of indoors have been closed and it's been hard on a lot of us, especially on the businesses and the economy here. Yeah, Santa Clara County, I think, is definitely one of the strictest. I would, I think it's safe to say in California, um, I would even want to assume the U.S. I don't want to say false things, but yeah, yeah. based on what I see on social media and um, where, you know, our friends who own businesses or run nonprofits and all these other things, they really keep an eye out on all the things that our, our county um you know, opens up and what they don't allow. And so I'd say it's been really strict. It's been really hard um, at some points in the year. It's been a full year, you know, living like this. And yeah. I felt really discouraged a lot of the year. I just felt like there was never hope. But then I would see my family being able to go back to work because my family works in restaurants mm -hmm. and they're able to go and work. And it's amazing that they can work and make money and provide for themselves. And then there's restaurants here that are really, really struggling and then you have businesses who are like trying to keep their money and, you know, not spend and which also affects other businesses like to our business. Mm -hmm. You know, it's some people want to spend marketing dollars. Some people don't. and Some people aren't there yet. Um, so, yeah, it's been kind of like it's been crazy emotionally for me. Yeah, definitely. And to add a little bit more context to like what the red tier means, I think that's more of a California thing. I think it varies state by state. Some states may call it phases. They may call it tiers, different colors, you know, whatever that looks like. Mm -hmm. So for California, to give you a little bit more context, the red tier is like the second under from the most restrictive. So the most restrictive is purple tier. Mm -hmm. Then you have red and then I believe you have orange and then yellow is the least restrictive where most of the businesses can be up and up and open and operating. 
at almost full capacity. I don't think it's 100% uh, full capacity, but when you get to the yellow, that's when, you know, things can start to feel a little bit more normal, like how it was, you know, exactly a year ago. Yeah, so we've never been in yellow tier, obviously, and I don't even know what that's going to feel like or be like. I mean, I love that it's not crowded in Trader Joe's and not yeah. crowded in yeah. restaurants and everyone seems to be more clean, um, which is really a nice thing to see. So I, I'll be interested to see how it is in yellow. But yeah, we are in red tier now. And I was at the grocery store that has like a food court in it. It's like a Japanese grocery store called Mitsuwa. And they had people eating inside. And it was so yeah. exciting to me. I felt like, I just felt like there is hope. Yeah, I, I feel like since we haven't seen that in so long, to see it now, it's almost like, man, that's crazy. Yeah, and it's weird. people eating inside. All other states have been doing that, you know, for Forever. a while now. But for us, where we live in um, the Santa Clara County, it's it's almost like shocking to see, like, whoa, people are eating inside. Yeah, we were walking by Cheesecake Factory yesterday, and we're like, oh, my gosh, there's people inside. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know where you guys are w listening from, but let us know if this is, like, crazy to you or if you're like, yeah, I get it. We don't have any restaurants, indoor dining open either. Um, but I think it's at the perfect time. The weather is getting warmer and warmer each mm -hmm. day, it seems like. And so I'm just excited to to eat inside if at first I was a little bit nervous but if the rest of the world is doing it I mean or the rest of the U.S. rather um you know I, I think we should be okay yeah and I mean so we talked about red tier right do you want to let us know like what that means like we moved into the red tier zone right so most likely capacities have increased at least for some indoor areas um, but there are a couple other things that are reopening, other businesses that are reopening, if you want to touch on that. Yeah, so now you can eat inside of a restaurant. You can go to the zoo, museums. You can work out in a gym now, which is a really big deal. because Yeah, inside. That's crazy, huh? Gyms have been closed forever. Yo. And unless you could do outdoor workouts, you couldn't open, you know? So businesses yeah. like gyms have been out of business for a long time long time like a year now if they didn't have like a parking lot or something to open up their stuff in so gyms and then movie theaters yeah open. movie theaters that's that's a big i think that's a pretty big one because you're you're sitting inside yeah. you're watching a movie for you know at least two hours and I'm, I'm i'm gonna be really interested in seeing how movie theaters are going to like you know, how, how are they planning to you know keep everyone safe while so be, being able to enjoy the movies so yeah i mean speaking on movies i honestly don't think that i want to go to a movie anytime soon i've never really liked movie theaters anyway that's true um we've talked about this right on the podcast yeah i think so yeah i mean if it's like a leather seat super fancy and clean and nice sure why not but bougie, bougie movie theaters bougie movie theater only for sophie yeah because of the cleanliness really um yeah so i don't think we're going to movies i mean what do you think would you I mean, I like watching Netflix at home, watching Hulu at home. I, I actually prefer the couch. I enjoy that. But I also do like going to the movies for the experience. You have this huge, you know, massive 50-foot screen with, you know, amazing sound system. So it is nice once in a while, I think, for certain movies. But I would say we rarely go to the movies, even when they were opened. Like, we, we would want to for, like, a date night because I think that's fun. Like, yeah, so So fun. those are the times we would go. Yeah, so maybe one or two times a year or with our friends if they really want to watch, like, a movie or something. Mm -hmm. um, and then in regards to restaurants opening up, I feel more and more ready to do that. Um, I just, I don't, I don't know. I think whatever you do, you run the risk, right? Um, and so it's just being mindful and careful, like not going on really busy days. Yeah. And since we have flexible work schedules, if we want to eat inside a restaurant, just pick a time where it's less busy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, this is exciting stuff as we yeah. go into the summertime and things opening up. So I, I feel like, you know, there, there's a sense of hope there. You know, how do you how do you feel about all of this? Like as we go into the summer, maybe into the rest of the year, like to 2021, you know, the next six months from now, like, how, how do you feel as we kind of move to the red tier? You know, do, we, do you think we're going to move to the next one and get less restrictive? Yeah, I mean, I would say that our county does such an amazing job following these rules. And I think it's because we're all over it. Like we just everyone's like, wear your mask and just like don't like just social distance and sit on the little stickers at the grocery stores that say six feet yeah. because none of us are trying to make this longer than it needs to be. 
because everywhere else they get to live their lives and we mm-hmm. haven't. And so I kind of get that sense when we're out and about with people like strangers that it's yeah, like they yeah. do take it seriously. And so I have hope that we will get into the yellow. Um, but I think 2020 just robbed me of so many like things I had planned events, yeah. so much work that I put into like at Eden and at Sogol and just my personal life that part of me feels afraid to commit to in advance because I'm like I want to do something yeah. for Tommy's birthday in July like I want to do something for my birthday I have a very specific thing in mind that relates to Purdue and Notre Dame on a specific weekend so you sports fans your football fans out there for the NCAA you may know what we're talking about yeah Purdue and Notre Dame are playing on September 18th which is my birthday weekend at I think, Notre I think Dame every year they play around your birthday they do and it's there, like, there's been years where it's on your actual birthday it is like the best the absolute best thing I could ask for in my hometown with my... Yeah, our, our hometown would be in South Bend, Indiana, right? Or so near. That's Notre Dame, but we went to Purdue, so it's kind of like mixed feelings almost. Yeah, I mean, we are my family, we're a house divided. Yeah. Brother-in-law is Notre Dame. I'm a Purdue fan, but he has my Purdue flag up in the man cave, so that's a big deal. But what I was saying was I don't, I want to plan those things now and everyone's saying how flights are so cheap and everything. And Mm -hmm. we talk about how much we miss our family. We haven't been back to Indiana in almost two years. It'll be two years in September. And Mm -hmm. I, I just did not sign up for that. I don't think anyone signed up for the, obviously no one signed up for this, but I'm like, I need to go back. Yeah. It sounds like commitment issues. And I, I I wonder if you guys are feeling the same way, like not being so committed to your plans or even make, like even having, you know, putting in the effort to make it make plans and then actually commit to it where maybe some of us are making plans and it's like, oh, it's whatever. You know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't want that. If I'm going to plan to see my family in Indiana, I want that to happen. i am be very upset if it doesn't. That's why I don't yeah. want to set myself up to be sad if things yeah. go wrong, if we go back to purple, because it honestly could happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so... How would you describe like how you feel about all of this, right? Like so, in the so, so you don't want to set like any plans because you don't want to have too high of ex- expectations because, you know, you may be let down. So how are you feeling about that? Like, do you feel like discouraged? Do you feel inc- like hopeful? I mean, overall, I do feel hopeful that this is going in the right direction, of course. And our friends are all getting vaccinated and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of our friends have talked about it actually that were unexpected that are are getting it. Mm-hmm. Um, Actually, I think a lot of people are, at least a lot of our from friends the people are. that we've talked to, I would say at least 50, like 50, it's 50, 50 for sure. The people who are priority to get it, people who are on the front lines, you know, healthcare workers mm-hmm. or within that space, I think have like a priority, right? To get it. And then, and then of course the demographic of the age, if you're an older person, um, if you're fit within that age um, category, then you can also get it. Yeah. I don't follow any of that because I just know we're in going to be at the very last we're we're young we're healthy and we're not frontline workers so yeah i don't really follow any of the vaccine stuff but yeah i think overall i'm hopeful i just want to set low expectations for this year because i just don't want to disappoint myself like i did last year yeah no that's pretty i i feel the same way at least for the summer i'm I'm hopeful to an extent i think um long term i really don't know what that's going to look like i am naturally and uh a positive optimistic optimistic person person. so i tend to lean more on the hopeful side but also i want to you know not be overly optimist optimistic and you know think everything is going to go 100 percent back to normal you know there's definitely like a reality check with all of that as well so you know i'm hopeful up to the summer (laughs) and depending what summer looks like i would say majority of the times when people go out for like let's say vacation Mm -hmm. in the summers it's usually at least here like it's like the beaches it's hiking so it's It's outdoors oh yosemite so so i think there's less chances of it spreading because we're going to be outside which can be nice yep and i mean we love we love the outdoors here it's just so beautiful like if i could do another yosemite trip in 2021 especially in the spring oh my gosh i would love that yosemite is like my one of my favorite places like and, it's, and it's literally like ever. a three hour drive or like three and a half. Yeah. We're going to do that this year. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds fun. It, it was fun. We did it last 
time. Make sure you guys watch our well. Yosemite video on our, our YouTube channel. Yeah, there, yeah we have a, a video when we went to Yosemite and it was uh, an amazing time. Yep. For sure. So can you guys share with us just how you guys are feeling about the restrictions and where um, in your area, in your state, in your country, wherever you're watching from? Yep. Um, just do you guys agree? Are you like over it? Are you living your best life? Like what, what is yeah, the plan? Like, yeah, I mean, how are you guys feeling with less restrictions, at least for our California friends and, you know, in other states like Texas, right? Just news just passed. No mask mandate, like, 100% open. Everything's like 100% open. I don't know all the specific details, but it's everything 100% is open. open. And for us here in Santa Clara County, it's that's like, like, man, that's crazy. Wild. It's like, we're praying for you guys <laughs> and hope, you know, you guys are staying safe out there. And I think with... We legit did pray for Texas, though. Yes, yes, we did. That, that's that's not a lie. Like, I'm telling the truth. No We're shade. We're telling the truth. I honestly, no shade to it in my, from, from my perspective. Oh, yeah, perspective. no shade at all. Yep. It's just like, we want we want it to be a good thing for them. Yep. So comment down below. Let us know how you're feeling about all of this. Let us know if you guys are going to start going start going back out to maybe eating inside at restaurants or even going to the movie theater to watch you know, the movies that are coming out. Yeah, we want to know. We really appreciate you guys just listening every single week. And it really does mean the world. So thank you guys for listening. And that's all we have for today's podcast. We just wanted to share kind of how we're feeling about being in red tier. And would love to hear how you guys are processing it too, because we would love to just like go out to eat with you or get coffee with you or yeah. do something. Oh yeah. Yeah, I went on a walk at Santana Row this week and it was like the best thing ever it was like the biggest highlight of my week it was just beautiful not crowded and i got to walk into a coffee shop for the first time in months to pick up my coffee yeah oh yeah so thank you so much you guys made it this far and watching this episode or listening to this episode i'll uh, make sure to hit the like button if you're watching on youtube and if you haven't subscribed already make sure to hit that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the latest uploads coming from this podcast or from this YouTube channel. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give us a rating if you haven't. All those things that you guys do when you guys like it, when you guys comment on the video, when you guys subscribe, it is super encouraging for mm -hmm. us. And, you know, it means so much to us and it, it helps us keep going, continue making these podcast episodes making content you know we want to do more we've mentioned it in previous episodes where we want to do more than, than just um, podcast episodes we want to show vlogs we want to you know do the like all types of videos and you know they're coming we we have the ideas so we want to create them you know for you guys so you guys can feel connected during this time yeah so thank you again if you made it this far and it's a win win wednesday where we upload an episode every week and my name is Tommy Wynn. And I'm Sophie Wynn. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Peace.